Hey beauties, today's video is brought to you by Sino Shore Hair. Before we get into the hair, let's talk about the bald cap method. The bald cap method is honestly amazing and it really makes a huge difference in the way your lace looks. Even if your lace from your wig isn't the best, by using the bald cap method, it helps it look even better. That's at least what I have found out because I use so many different um, forms of lace that companies send me and I really see the difference in how my lace front wigs look when I use the bald cap method and I know I talked about it before like nah you don't need it but baby try it it will change your life okay and it's not that hard so what you want to do is when you're spraying your lace spray or any spray that you use to apply your lace wig, when you spray it onto your wig cap, you want to do it in small sections. Don't go crazy and just spray it all over your forehead. No, you want to do it in small sections. This ensures that you have less cleanup. It ensures that you apply your lace spray exactly where you want it and it dries faster. You can also use your hairspray on a cool setting. Again, beauties, your hairspray has to be used on a cool setting and that's gonna help your, your lace spray dry faster. And when you're cutting that excess wig cap off, use a small scissor. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference because you're able to get as close as possible to your skin without actually cutting your skin when you're cutting off the wig cap, okay? I even go in with a pair of tweezers just so I can get as close as possible when cutting off this lace. And when you're using a smaller scissor, you also have a better visual of where you're, there's nothing in the way of you seeing where you're supposed to cut. However, be careful. You don't want to cut your skin. So just, you know, take your time. And then when you cut as close as possible of the wig cap off, you're going to go back in with your lace spray, with your blow dryer on a cool setting and ensure that everything is laced down to your skin okay and when you're using your comb to flatten out the wig cap you're not pressing hard you're using a very light touch because if you press too hard it's gonna get sticky and you're gonna end up pulling the wig cap off your forehead so make sure you're going in with a very light touch and you have to have the blow dryer on while you're spraying the lace spray on the wig cap that already has lace spray on it because it will lift if you just spray it now I am using my handy dandy good expensive Lancome foundation, but I have other foundations that aren't exactly my match. Like the perfect match is this foundation for my skin um, for years now. It's like I've never found another foundation that fits me this well. So I do use it on my wig cap. I don't use a lot but it makes it, it it makes all the difference. So make sure that whatever foundation you're using matches your skin the best or cream foundation, whatever you're using, just make sure that it really, really matches your skin. And then I'm gonna set it with my NC45 MAC Cosmetic. Yeah, I'm using some expensive products for this wig cap, okay? But um, until I find a cheaper alternative, meaning like if I find something that really, really matches my skin tone, then I want something cheaper because I can't be using my expensive stuff for these wig caps. But baby, look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. And I, and I could have even pulled the wig cap a little further down my hairline, but it is what it is. Now, this is the wig from Sino Shore Hair. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but don't worry. The links will be in the description box. This is the wig, and what I did is I bleached the knots and I washed this unit. When I was bleaching the knots, I got too much bleach on um, that part of the hair. So I decided just to create a quick skunk stripe I didn't leave the bleach on long. I just didn't feel like correcting um, where I messed up with the bleaching the hairline. So that's why you see a little brown stripe on the side because I just decided to just do a skunk stripe versus having to correct the bleaching that I did. Anyways, so this is Sino Shore's Long Body Wave Human Hair Lace Front Wig and it is pre Plucked. Their website says that their lace is also HG transparent. And I believe I have like 22 inch. I'm not too sure the length that I have, but 
I didn't cut it at all and it came out so beautiful. So I finally um, crimped my hair again and I know how to do it now. You just have to spray more hairspray, okay? Don't use the lace spray on your actual um, hair from the unit, okay? Just use some regular hairspray. Spray more hairspray than you normally would and then when you're crimping the hair, make sure you hold the crimper on each section of the hair for a longer time and make sure that the section of hair that you're taking is thick enough. You don't want to grab a small section because then, I don't know, it just doesn't do it. And also make sure that your crimper is on high heat. When crimping your hair, you just have to use more um, hairspray than you normally would. And look at that, y'all. I never crimp my hair so good. And Sino Shore, this unit kept this crimp all day long. Keep in mind, this is their long body wave human hair, so it will hold a curl. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, baby, please make sure you give me your girl a big fat thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and check out the links in my description box. I'm sure that I will have some type of discount code, something for you beauties to enjoy. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Don't feel like it now. I'ma just lay back and cry.